served with distinction as a city council member and mayoral candidate. Joe Alcantor, past chairman of the Greater Dallas Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the president of the African American Pastors Coalition, the one and only Dr. Jerry Christian, Bob Stimson, president of the Oak Cliff Chamber of Commerce, Dallas County Commissioner, our warrior, John Wiley Price, Deputy Mayor, Deputy Mayor Pro Tem, Dwayne Carraway, Laura Estrada, a small business owner and a 30-year resident of Oak Cliff, Brent Jackson, a board member of the West Dallas Chamber of Commerce, and the brilliant pastor of the, of senior pastor of the St. Luke Community United Methodist Church, Pastor Tyrone D. Gordon, and of course, our visionary mayor, Mayor Tom Leppert. Let me kick this off by saying that, first of all, this is not a paid political advertisement. Uh, I am standing here independent. I'm standing here having bought into a vision for Dallas that creates communities of opportunity across this vast city. One wise writer once remarked and warned, where there is no vision, the people perish. Conversely, it may be inferred, where there is vision, the people will flourish. Dallas right now stands at the crossroads of making a choice between flourishing or perishing. The Economics Times call for us to take our future into our own hands. And this is what this particular opportunity allows us to do. And that is to create a community of opportunity by recognizing the wisdom of our mayor, who during his inaugural address maintained that for Dallas to be a first class city, we cannot have a second class downtown. In order for us to have a first class downtown in a first class city, we must have a practical connection with our convention center. A few years ago, the National Baptist Convention, of which I am a part, as well as an officer, I found it met here in Dallas, and I found it over and over again quite embarrassing that the headquarters hotel was so far from the convention center. And as a consequence, in traveling to cities like Denver, Phoenix, and even Cincinnati, I noted that they now are blowing up as it relates to convention business because they have the vision and the wisdom to connect the convention center with the hotel. No, Dallas is not in the hotel business, but Dallas government is in the business of creating opportunities so that we in the midst of this negative economy can in a real sense create a better future for our city. I believe it was Robert. I believe it was Robert F. Kennedy who popularized a phrase that was authored by George Bernard Shaw. Robert F. Kennedy said where there is Robert F. Kennedy said that some people see things as they are and ask why. I see things as they ought to be and ask why not. I'm not here to ask why we don't have a downtown convention center hotel yet. I'm simply saying, why not have a convention center hotel that the city of Dallas recognizes is a unique opportunity for us to do something that other first class cities have already done. Dallas is a first class city with first class possibilities, but when we have a first class downtown, even people from Paris, London, and Johannesburg will come here to do business because they will recognize what a first class city looks like. I'm excited about the future because I'm daring to ask why not. That's the kind of vision Dallas is calling for.